Hey everybody, it's Chico. Today I'm going to teach you how to use the rotation tool in Adobe Illustrator to make a rosette. And I'm going to teach you how to let Illustrator do all the math for you so you have a perfectly balanced and symmetrical flower. So what you're going to do is you're going to start out with a teardrop shape. Of course, in the future, you can create any sort of shape petal that you want, but we're going to start out with the teardrop shape to make this exercise easy. So I'm just going to click this. I'm going to hold Option to drag, and I'm holding Shift. You can see that I have my Smart Guides on, and that's that pink line there. And I'm holding Shift so that I keep that in alignment with this teardrop shape. And I am going to turn my guides on, which is Command Semicolon. And you can see I already have two guides drawn in here. If you don't know how to draw a guide, it's really easy. You can just go over to the ruler and you can pull over from the rulers and just drop a guide. So now you can see I have a guide here. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. And what we're trying to do is to get this effect over here of this same rosette. So I'm going to, let's just drag this over here to this guide. You can see I have my smart guides on, so it locked it right in place. And what we're going to do is use the rotation tool. So we're going to go here, which is also R. You can see that when I hover over it, it shows me rotate tool and it says R and that's the key command. So I can press R without even going to that. And that's the hot key. So now what I want to do is move this anchor point, this little blue anchor point here in the center that automatically pops up in the center of your object when you click the rotation tool and what this little anchor point does is this is your point of rotation. So you can see that if I double click this, it gives me some options on the degrees that I want to rotate. And you can see that it rotated it at 45 degrees from the center angle. So if I click 180, it will turn it completely upside down. And it's turning it from this center anchor. So let me show you what I actually really want to do in order to make this flower shape. I'm going to press cancel and get out of this window. I also want to show you that with the rotation tool on, I can click and drag and you can see that it's spinning around that point, that anchor point set for the rotation. Command Z to undo. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure my rotation tool is selected. And when I click, I'm going to click down here and I'm going to hold option. And that's going to put my anchor point instead of being right here. My anchor point will now be down here, which you can see would be in the center of this flower shape. So I'm going to put my anchor point here. You can zoom in if you want a little bit and you can drop your anchor point. I'm going to hold option and just click it once. And you can see that it prompts my rotate window. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let Illustrator do all the math for me. Right here, it's telling me how many degrees I'm going to rotate it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell Illustrator, I know that there's 360 degrees in a circle. And I'm going to have 12 petals. So I want to divide 360 by 12. And this is going to let Illustrator automatically make that angle for me. And I'm going to press copy so that it copies this motif. So you can see that I have my original motif and it made a copy at that angle. Now, without doing anything else, I'm going to press Command D, which will duplicate the previous move that I just did, the previous action. Command D, 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 Command D. So you can see that every time you press Command D, it duplicates the previous action and it's rotating from this anchor point that we've already set. So let's zoom out. And you can see that we have two beautiful florets here. And let's just go into here again really quick. So I'm going to use a circle and I'm just going to go here to the center guide and I'm going to click in the center and you can see that when I drag my circle, it's more of an oval and it's dragging from the point where I click down. And so what I want to do is hold shift. And now you can see that that circle is constrained. It's perfectly circle. And now I can hold option. And now I'm pulling the circle drawing from the center point where I dropped it. So I'm going to drop this here. 
And I'm going to color this, let's just say orange for now. And what I want to do is the same exact thing. I want to make a few of these dots around here. Let's make less just so we can see it work differently. Maybe I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. I'm going to drag it down a little bit because remember, we're going to be rotating from this point. So there is going to be basically a mirror of this exactly on this side. Unless we make it an odd number, there won't be a mirror of it. It will be thought, let's say we'll do five. So I'm going to click my rotate tool. You can see it dropped the anchor automatically there. I'm going to hold Option and press it here in my center point. And I'm going to say 360 divided by 5 and copy. So it placed it. Now I'm going to do Command D, Command D, Command D. And now I have a beautiful center to my flower. Command semicolon to hide our guides. And there you go, using the rotation tool to make a beautiful flower. Of course, you can use this technique for so many other things besides making flowers. So I hope you keep this Adobe Illustrator tooltip in mind. If you want to learn more from me, make sure that you join my free design club or join my membership in the inner circle. I'd love to see you there. Until next time, I'm Chico. Keep learning and be a better designer.